Hey my pretty, so let me show you guys something real quick before we get into this video. Look at what I found at Target. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Look, the bullseye dog. And he has a little tiny little ladybug right here with a backpack. Look, he has a backpack. <laughs> Tell me that is not the cutest thing. These things are gonna go so fast and they were only $10. But I'll get into more of that in just a second. Um, I do have a Target haul for you guys. We are gonna fry some pickles because I mentioned them before. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Let me get this Target stuff set up on the counter and then I'll show you guys what I got. Um, and then I wanted to show you guys one of the most amazing amazing and yes i'm putting a 10 on it an amazing item that i have well i don't want to call it an item it's something that i have now that i absolutely love and it's been helping me with my do i want to say self-care my me time all of that good stuff that we need uh, as moms and all of that good stuff. you know everybody talk about self-care self-care this self-care that so i'm gonna show you guys what I have that helps me with my, I'm calling it my me time. So we'll get into that. Let me open, let me set out all this Target stuff that I have. Some of it is from today. And then I've, I had some of the stuff like a, like from the other day. So I'm gonna show you guys all of it. Okay, you guys, so I set everything up. Let me just go through and show you what I have in my Target haul. So we have this faux garland threshold, six feet. Uh, I believe this was $20. Um, I just thought it was really pretty. So I did get that. Um, this one, I got to go in Pooh Bear's room. I love that. The little light. And it says Boo at the bottom. So we got that. Can't remember how much it was. Um, I did start picking up candies. Not only for me to pass out. But also just in case I had, I need to get some stuff for, um, uh, Pooh Bear's little gift bags that you know the kids pass out candy and stuff in class Well, I like to make gift bags and stuff like that for each kid and it's usually I don't know how many kids how many kids is in your class, baby? Uh, 26. 26 so I'll be making 26 gift bags and then I, whatever is left over will be for the trick-or-treaters So I did get this one and I have to get a few more, but this is just a start. So 95 miniatures right here uh, I did get this big bag of candy carnival with all the good stuff in there the sugar babies the charms blow pops tear jerkers <laughs> the sour bubble gum so i got that i thought this was super cute the candy pads how many was in here 12 of them in here i'll probably pick up another bag at some point because it's only 12 i'll probably yeah i'll need to get another bag Definitely a good deal. 36 ring pops in here. If I'm not mistaken, I think this was like $12 or something, 11 or $12. So for 36 ring pops, I thought that was pretty good. Then I got the 36 bags of the bats and pretzels, bats and jacks pretzel treats. Uh, the cheese balls, 32 bags in that one. Uh, so that was it as far as, well, the pumpkins. The candy corn pumpkins, those are mine. <laughs> those are my favorite. I like the shape of them. Okay, I got some socks. The hide and eat socks with the little ghost on them. This one I showed you guys in the video. Y'all, I'm just, I still don't understand. Well, I do. I do, but I don't. Look at Frankenstein. Frankenbird. Frankenbird. <laughs> Look at his head. It is super big. Let me see. Is it blurry? There it is. Look at that afro, y'all. Look at that baby's afro. Tell me that ain't crazy. And they put a little chain on him, a little silver chain. <laughs> $5, I had to get that. He has this little gold tag on his foot that says 2023. This sign right here, welcome treaters, trickers need not apply. I like that one. I did get these deer foam house shoes that say boo. I like those. And then you guys, I think I showed you guys the trick treat ones. So those will be in rotation. Uh, what else did I get? This ghost for 15. It'll be hung up somewhere. 
I did. I am not, a, I tell you guys all the time, I'm not a big Mickey fan, like all of the, you know, stuff, but I could not pass on this. I don't know. I just like that. I know that, you know, I don't know. I just liked it. I like it. And it says trick or treat on the back. Uh, it needs batteries. The batteries go down here and I just turned it on. So as you can see, he lights up. It's kind of, yeah, so see, he lights up, it flickers and all of that stuff. So that's a cool little bucket. Um, and then I showed you guys this in the beginning of the video. That, let me turn that off. Oh, let me say this. The only thing I didn't like about this bucket right here was the string was too short. Look at that. Look at that. That is so short. They could have made that a little bit bigger. But look at that. I showed you already. But he is so adorable. Oh, my goodness. The bullseye dog. I had to have it. Had to. We love Target. So he had to come home. And he has his little tag right there with his little ladybug friend on his shoulder. So got two of those. I know somebody is going to ask for the DPCI number. There's not one. Oh, yes, it is. It's right here. The DPCI number is right there at the top. And that's just in case anybody is on the hunt for him because I know they're going to go fast, super fast. Um, I did get this picture with the little hanging string right there. Some uh, moisturizing shave oil. I love the Tree Hut shave oil. I just ran out of my other one. I haven't had the coconut lime, but it smells so good. So I'll be using that. Another item is the Oogie Boogie pillow. I think that um, he needed to come home with me to be in my collection of green stuff. Plus I like Oogie Boogie on top of Frankenstein. This little guy I purchased, he lights up. And then this didn't come from Target, but it came from Ross for $35. I thought it was a good buy because I can hardly ever find stuff in the stores that's a California King. And it was, um, it says Turkish flannel. Had to get it because I just found a black comforter at, um, where was I at? Was it Home Goods? I think it was Home Goods that I found a black comforter. Um, so I'll be switching out my bedding to the black with this and putting my decor my halloween decor in my room so i thought that was pretty good for 35. okay and then some of the clothing items that is the purse of the day my tote bag um and then some of the clothing clothing items i did get these pajama pants right there cute this sweatshirt right here a new day um $25 and I got it even though it's just all black I love the little rhinestones on it you see that it's kind of sparkly so I thought that was really cool the only thing is this it's a little boxy at the waist like it's really square and it's kind of short it's not like a really long um sweatshirt but I do like it I like the rhinestones on there so I got that this dress right here first time seeing it it is super soft you guys this thing feels like sherpa I'm, i've never had a sherpa dress <laughs> it is an off the shoulders uh dress with the long sleeves you see that and they also have this in purple and it is so you guys when i say soft this thing is soft and it's super stretchy i got it in an extra large hopefully it fits good um, but I love that it's off the shoulders and yeah, so let me see. I know this is a new item. Uh, there's the number on this one right there. Uh, just in case anybody wants one of those. And then I did get this Wild Fable um, corduroy style uh, shirt right here. And I like buying these type of shirts. Um, Cause when it starts to cool down, I'll just unbutton it and wear it sort of like a jacket and I always roll up my sleeves and I like the color. So that is what I got. Oh yeah. I forgot to show you guys this too. The mocktail and mixer lime margarita by simply is by simply. And I've never seen this before. It's non-alcoholic. It's a flavored juice beverage. And I guess it's like ready for you to mix with your tequila if you want to make a lime margarita or you can just drink it out of the container. 
but I have never seen this before. So I did pick up one of these today. And then also this futuristic flavor, it says futuristic flavored Coca-Cola, um, limited edition. And yeah, I don't even know the flavor of this, but I'm definitely going to try it. So that is it for the Target haul. Um, before I jump into making these uh, fried pickles, I know I mentioned them before, and some of you guys was like, girl, you gonna make the fried pickles? And I just, yeah, I forgot. Um, so I'm gonna make them, me and my daughter's gonna make them real quick and show you how I do mine. It's nothing really to it, um, but I will show you what I do. But before we jump into that, this me time that I was telling you guys about, the, the self-care, Whew, this item, you guys, I would have never thought, I would have never thought that I would be riding an e-bike. <laughs> and the reason I say that is because I have a BMX bike, I have another bike, like a mountain bike. I like bike riding. However, I just was always like, ooh, I don't know about an e-bike because, you know, it's like, it's doing the work for you. But until I got this Max 30, e-bike oh my goodness you guys and let me get it right i said max 30 it's a max foot 30 e-bike you guys this is the best thing that i have experienced <laughs> in a long time um and i love new gadgets and stuff like that so this bike um came to me they asked me if i wanted to try it out um from the company and i was like oh, i don't know my kids had to kind of convince me like yeah mom try it so i said sure send send me the bike and so the bike came and um i just have to i'm gonna have to show you i can show you better than i can tell you so let me tell you guys a little bit about this bike and how it is helping me with my me time or some of my self care time. Um, I'm gonna let you guys watch this real quick and then I'm gonna come back and we'll talk a little bit more and then, um, yeah, and then we'll get into the fried pickle. Okay, so let me tell you guys about this Max Foot trike that I got, which is an e-bike. Um, it's first of all, it's one of the most affordable ones on the market. I did do my research, you guys. Look at that, it is so cool. So, it came, they delivered it, and we opened it up. And when I tell you this was one of the easiest bikes to put together, I have to say it was super easy. I was a little intimidated. Uh, I did get some help from a family member, <laughs> but look at that, it pretty much comes all put together. It has the three big wheels. It has the um, compartment in the back, like storage. It is just super, super cool. So it has a high torque motor. Look at that. So as you can see, we're just kind of putting it together and it was super easy. It literally took about an hour and a half to get it all put together. Um, but it has a high torque motor. And when I tell you this thing is fast, you guys, it is fast and it can go up to like 50 miles per hour. And that's the key start right there. It has the battery right there, the lithium battery. It tells you if it is um, needs to be charged or not. And so I've just been taking it on a ride. You guys, look at that. So this is what I mean by some me time, some self-care, just getting away from the house, away from the kids, away from the family, work, just taking long rides and um, just enjoying the scenery in my area. Now, the one thing that I was on the fence about is because, you know, I'm like, I, I wanna pedal. So on this bike, you'll see me at some point, I pedal. And then when I'm tired of pedaling, I just pull that handlebar, like the, you know, crank it up and it just rides. Oh my goodness, you guys. It is so fun. As you can see, I was moving my legs right there, but it is so cool. And so this is part of what I've been doing lately to get some me time. I'll take long rides or I'll just go and have a seat, read a book, which we'll do that in a minute. But I've been enjoying this bike since they sent it to me. The basket, it can hold up to um, like 350 pounds. So I'll keep a blanket back there, a book, some water. I can just put anything. You can ride it to the grocery store. There I am pedaling. You can ride it to the grocery store, wherever you want, and just, you know, enjoy this, this trike. There I am at my local little 
park, which I like to go to and, and just be by myself and just read. Um, the seat, you guys, is super thick. As you can see, I am a thick girl. It is very comfortable to sit on. Uh, the brakes work good and it has a really nice step through frame. So it's just very comfortable and enjoyable to ride, you guys. I absolutely love my new trike. So you see what I mean, you guys? I am in love with my Maxfoot 30 trike. <laughs> and I would have never thought that I would have loved a trike. Um, three wheels, but you guys, the ride is so nice. It's so smooth. And when I was telling you guys, I was trying to say the, I said, I just crank it. <laughs> I was talking about the, cause the, to make it go fast, um, is on the handlebars. So it's like a motorcycle pretty much. And I think that is so cool. So I do know right now they are, um, $200 off. They're having like a little sale. So it's two to $100 off of the original price. Um, the link for the bike will be down below in the description box. Make sure you guys check down there. Uh, if you're interested, you guys know Christmas is coming up. If you're trying to think of a gift to get yourself, you know, cause sometimes we buy ourselves gifts, get yourself or maybe your, your kid or somebody in your family. This will be a perfect gift. Um, I, I just, my, I, all the kids have been riding it, even Pooh Bear. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little too fast for him. So I have to kind of make sure he knows not to, you know, turn that thing up or crank it too much. But, um, everybody has wrote it when we have guests that come over, like my son's brothers on their other side of the family, uh, from their father's side, they'll come over and they ride it. So it's just been a hit. If you look at the reviews, the reviews on this bike is amazing. Um, no complaints. Everybody loves it. And I just want to tell you a little bit more before we jump into these fried pickles. Um, the, so I think I said it wrong. I said the basket in the back could hold like 350 pounds. I think the overall bike itself can, um, hold 350 pounds all together. I did get that beautiful blue. Uh, blue is one of my other favorite colors. They did have like some other colors like red, yellow. I am looking at my, um, the site cause I don't want to forget nothing. They have red, yellow, there's a gray, they have a hunter green, there's a white, um, and all of that. So they have a, a few colors that you can choose from. But like I said, I went with blue cause I really, really like that one. Also the basket in the back is waterproof. So that's a good thing. That's definitely good. And the riding, I think I told you guys already, but the, the battery provides a ride for up to 50 miles. So you don't have to worry about riding it too far and um, getting stuck or something running out of the battery or whatever. It, it can go for a very long time. I did mention that the battery is lithium, so that's a good thing. And the waterproof rear basket, the thick, comfortable seat. You guys, that seat is comfortable. So like I said, if you a plus size girl or you thick, that seat will be perfect because that's one thing I cannot stand on a bike is them little skinny seats that be hurting. And you know what I'm talking about if you ride bikes. <laughs> this seat on the trike is really, really nice. No complaints about that. It has dual disc brakes and a step through frame. And um, that's, that's pretty much it. Actually, when I'm done uh, frying these pickles for you guys, I'm probably gonna take it for a spin. I just kind of go, I've been exploring the neighborhood in different directions and that's what I do. Plus the scenery is just really nice. I usually have on my headphones and just, you know, just go for that ride. So I've enjoyed it. I want to thank you to Maxfoot for collabing with me and sending me over this amazing trike. And like I said, it is on sale. So make sure you click the link down below to go check that out. So let me go in this kitchen because I do feel like I need a little bit of a snack and show you guys how I fry these pickles. Again, I have asked my daughter to come and help me. So she's going to help me. I took off my sweater because I was starting to get hot. <laughs> this little t-shirt came from Target uh, as well. Not on today's haul, but I did get this from Target. So I had to come up out that sweatshirt. So let's get in this kitchen and make these pickles okay you guys so what we have is two bowls uh one for the dry one for the wet mix 
um, your paper towel because you're going to want to put your pickles on here and pat them dry. It's up to you what you want to use. If you want to do the stackers, which I've never actually fried the stackers before. Um, me and my daughter was kind of on the fence about these, but we're going to try some today. My main, the main ones that I usually do is the sandwich dill chips because they're bigger like that. Those are the ones that I usually fry. So we'll do mainly these, um, but I do want to try the stackers because they're long. I don't know. I just want to try that. You need your measuring bowl. You need some milk, some Frank's hot sauce or hot sauce of your choice. It doesn't really matter. Some flour. You're going to need one egg right there. And I like to use Cajun seasoning. So it's really up to you if you, you have the Tony's or you have the slap your mama. Um, both are really, really good. So it's really just up to you what you, you know, what you like, your preference. And that's about it. So let's get started. So the wet mix is going to be the one egg, half a cup of milk, and however many hot sauce uh, splashes you want. We usually do about four, between four and six. It just depends. Um, so because you, you know, that'll make it salty. You don't want it to be too salty. So I'm just going to say four. Let's just do four half a cup of milk and the egg in the dry, I mean in the wet mix. And then in the dry mix, it's just gonna be, my daughter is telling you guys, a cup of flour. And then you're just gonna use whichever seasoning you want in there. So we decided to just do three of the stackers. And that's how many of the slices we're gonna do. We don't like to do a whole lot cause it's just me and my daughter that's gonna eat them and it's just a little snack. So that's what we're working with today. And then you wanna pat those dry, get all the juice off of them. Do it again. Okay, so they're nice and dry. I forgot to mention, you're gonna need a frying pan and some grease. And this is one cup of flour right here. And then it's a little more than one cup. And then you're just gonna pick which one you want. I think, which one would you wanna do today? Mm -hmm. Creole? Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. yeah, we'll just go with Tony's. And we're just gonna sprinkle that in there and shift it around just to kind of season the flour. And just stir that around. That is one of the joys of having your kids cook or teaching them how to cook because you can just stand by and let them do it. So that was a half a cup of milk. Okay. And then she's going to add the egg to it. And you just whisk it, and then after that's done, then you're going to add the hot sauce. One, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> you know how that be. <laughs> it was about four, four and a half, five. All right. So you have your wet and your dry. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your pickle, and you're going to put it in a dry so you can coat that and then it goes into the wet and then it's actually going to go back into the dry mixture. Uh, we need a pan for you to set these on or a plate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then she's going to put those just on a plate while we're waiting for the grease to get hot and she's just going to repeat. And you do that until you get all of them coated. Okay, we're going to put in the first stacker, the second one, and the third. And you're just kind of going to fry them probably about uh, two minutes or, yeah, about two minutes on each side. Let's flip that one. And you pretty much just want to fry them, like I said, until you see that they're just nice and brown. Can you put a paper towel on that plate for me? Okay, so you don't want them to get too crunchy, so that looks about done. And then we'll add the smaller ones. Mm, 
Okay, I try not to add too many in there at once because you don't want them to get stuck together. So that's about it right there. And then we still have uh, five more to cook after that. Okay, these look done. And there they go, fried pickles. Now, you can eat them with whatever you like. We have ranch, we like to dip ours in ranch. And so, what you guys think? They look pretty good. Okay, so my daughter doesn't want to be on camera, but she's right here. You want to say anything? Say hi, something? Hey, Throw your hand up? over here. She said, hey, hey what's up? <laughs> okay, I tell you guys all the time, my kids do not like being on camera. Um, so, we have the stackers right here, and then we have just the regular ones. So, I'm excited to try the stackers just because, I mean, it's still a fried pickle, but just the shape of it, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You going to try it? Yeah. Okay. It's just a long pickle. She said it's just a long pickle. Mmm. <laughs> and I'm not just saying mmm, because we made them. They are good. Wait a minute. She said, wait a minute. <laughs> you like these better than the small ones? The texture, know. huh? It's a different texture. It's a little different. These are in softer. Mmm. They're softer in the middle, but still crunchy on the outside. Okay, now that I ate the whole stacker, I'm gonna try one of the small ones. So what do you guys like to dip your, or do you even eat fried pickles? What do you dip yours in? I know most people do ranch. Um, there's a Texas Roadhouse restaurant. They have some kind of dip. Oh my, is it Texas Roadhouse that we like? Mm -hmm. They have a dip that is so good. I cannot, um, I have to figure out what they have in it. But it almost looks like a Thousand Islands style dressing or something. Um, it's really, really good, but I don't know what it is. I gotta figure that out. But here's the small one. <laughs> she said, really good. <laughs> I wish you guys could see my daughter. She bit it and said, oh. It's so good. <laughs> I know. And you don't need too many of these. I mean, what we're eating right here is just like a little appetizer, a little snack. And I am very happy with it. Um, ooh, wait. Appetize me right to bed. <laughs> <laughs> you so crazy. She said these are going to appetize her right to bed. <laughs> they going to make you sleepy. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Mm. Pooh Bear. Yes. You want a fried pickle? He said, sure, come grab it. <laughs>